All right, guys. I'm gonna show you my uh, newest free acquisition. I'll uh, uh, yard sales. Uh, so the Coleman runs off of white gas, and uh, we are gonna show you how it works. Okay, I'm not sure if I can do this one way. Right. Let's see here. Sorry about that. There you go. So this guy pops up on a hinge. This is sort of like a big snuffer. Um, it keeps the uh, fuel in there. There's no pumping, no priming. Uh, as you can see, it's sort of a fiberglass wick, if you will. Um, all the, uh, basically there's a low to high. Start it, put it on high. Move that over there. And then, uh, let's see if we can set this down here. I'm just going to turn it upside down real quick. Let's see if we got any fuel up top. Not quite. We're going to do it again. Sorry, it's hard to do while I was doing the camera. Um, so you tilt it upside down to get just enough gas seeping through the middle. And just light it with a spark or a lighter. And then you sort of just let it hang out for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, eventually this will lose its flame and um, gasify the, uh, the liquid fuel as it's coming up. And this whole thing will just become a nice hot burner. But, um, I don't know, for free, works pretty darn good. It does take a little bit longer than I figured to come up to a normal flame. Um, we'll uh, see what it does today. And I'll turn this off and I'll come back when she's all ready to go. I feel the heat coming off here pretty good. I promise you that it's on. Um, if it was darker, you'd be able to see the like a slight hint of glow coming from the, uh, the giant fiberglass wick. This basically is just a giant fiberglass top, has fiberglass going into the bottom, which is just a big reservoir for the white gas. Sort of like a lamp, like an oil lamp that have oil back there and wick coming up, but there's no open flame. Um, once you get it started, uh, you can easily start it outside your shelter, uh, bring it indoors. Um, it does have a slight fume to it. Uh, this wouldn't be recommended for smaller, you know, tents or anything like that, but uh, definitely like a tarp shelter. Um, any sort of uh, hooch or wilderness if you you know built some sort of lean-to or something it um, once it gets going it puts out pretty good heat on the sides as well as the top um, you can adjust it down basically just running off of vapors down to medium all the way down to low uh, this weekend probably uh, sand it down put some uh, high temp barbecue paint on the top I might leave the uh, Old school yellow on the bottom. Uh, this is original Coleman, made in the USA. So uh, I think I'll leave as original as possible. But if I don't, uh, if I don't treat this rusted part, um, it's just going to get worse. So we'll probably uh, sand that down, prime it, put some barbecue paint on there, and uh, I'll leave the bottom just as she is. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Um, I'm just going to pop this guy over. Set that up like that. She is putting out a good amount of heat, and what, once she gets going, I mean, I can't, I can't put, really put my hand that close to it. Maybe here, and that's still pretty hot. Now we're at a restaurant, so I'm sort of used to handling hot food. But um, yeah, I mean, that's it's a good amount of heat. This is, uh, I think, five to eight thousand BTUs, and uh, we've even got a uh, little blistery day. Of course, every time I say that, the wind dies. We got gusts up to 20 miles an hour or so. Popping through here. Funny little weather day that we got. Um, we're just going to take this big top. Nice and clean on the inside. I, I swear this thing's probably only used a couple times. We're going to use that like a big candle snuffer. And I'm going to knock this down to low. And there you go. She's all set for the next time. 
And once those lock down, away you go. Thanks, guys.